So if you've seen any video from a modern war zone, you've seen some military footage that looks like this. Uh, 404, I got guys with RPGs. This is thermal imagery or infrared imagery, and it, what it does is it essentially gives you the superpower to see things that you wouldn't normally see. So for instance, your eyes, they normally see in the visible part of the spectrum, which you can see here, so you see the colors and everything. However, there are parts of the spectrum that your eyes aren't sensitive to, which is infrared, ultraviolet, that sort of thing. What thermal imagery allows you to do is to actually see those, and this is actually quite useful for finding people, because people generate lots of heat. You certainly see that my nose is, is colder than the rest of my face. Actually, now you see it better. You, you see that my, my, my hands are colder than my arms. And also, this, this is a weird little camera because it hybridizes two images. So it hybridizes parts of the visible to get an outline and then superimposes that on the infrared. Otherwise, you just have a really low um, resolution imagery. But that does give you some sort of false ideas that you can actually see my eyes uh, when in reality, the perspex here actually very effectively blocks out the the infrared. So there's one of these interesting things. If you want to hide from, say, the visible part of the spectrum, I can get a black bin liner. And what you'll find is this actually is very good at hiding me from the visible spectrum, right? Blocks out all of the light. However, this is poly polythene. And what you'll find is for the infrared, it's not quite so good at actually hiding my body heat. That is, the infrared will go through uh, this black plastic, but visible light won't. And likewise, you can get things at the other end. So here's another plastic called Perspex. So all I've done is I've swapped to a different representation of, of heat on these things. So again, you can see that the, 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 the Perspex here is absolutely fantastic at screening out my body heat. Uh, so this would be great for hiding from infrared, not so good for the visible, but what you'll find is that it does actually get warm where I've held it, you see. So where my hands have been holding it, you can see the, 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 the fingerprints. And of course, you know, other things that uh, you're just a nice thin piece of paper, absolutely fantastic for, for hiding from the infrared. But you have to make sure, because you can see heat, if I touch the back of this paper, what you can see is very quickly, it actually adopts the temperature of my hand. So even though you can't see where my hand's been on this piece of paper, in the visible, in the infrared, especially if I push it hard, or a little harder, see, see the handprint. One last one, glass. As you can see, it's beautiful and transparent in the visible. In the infrared, not so much. But again, because it, it, it's essentially opaque in the infrared, if I put my nice warm hand on the glass, what you'll see is, yeah, I can see where my hand's been in the infrared, and not so much in the visible. Cool, eh?